I've got a friend, Mahmoud. He's from there. Uh, I met him when I went there to do a seminar about five years ago. Um, there was a group of us and he was a translator and we got on well. So anyway, um, we emailed each other uh, on and off since then. And he was over about two years ago and we met up, had a coffee. And, you know, that was good. And we're not like you know, friends, but it, it was good. Uh, and, you know, I think, I think we both like the idea of kind of having a friend in another country. Um, and then, then a year ago, the civil war started there, you know, the uprising. And I sent an email asking him what he thought. He said that he would wait and see, you know, it was too early to tell. Um, you know, and then the story started coming out. Atrocities and the mass graves, and there was the bombing in the capital where I knew you lived. But I haven't told anyone this, but um, the truth. So you know, the more the more I heard these things, these, these violent things that were happening basically on his doorstep, you know, that's likely it was that I was going to email him, you know, make, make contact, you know, I'd always, I, I'd, I'd always find something else to do, um, and somehow never get round to it, and six months passed, and the whole fucking thing's a mess, and now every town is run by troops, and there's military, and, you know, and there's, there's millions of refugees, millions of refugees, and, and from what I can tell you, it's impossible to avoid it over there. And you know, he must be involved, you know, like one way or another, but it's, it's too late to email after all this time. But it would be just, I mean, even if I did, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't have the language. I don't, I don't have the vernacular to, to, to you know, the vernacular to, to deal with it in a way that is respectful. Um, you know, respectful of what he's going through and, and being honest. Um, and, and I mean, this is real truth. I, I suspect knowing his beliefs, you know, and just how passionate he was about freedom, that, you know, that he was one of the first to pick up a gun, you know? And, He's probably dead, but I still have an email. I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't feel a connection to, 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 a, to a world like that. I know it's just, it's, it's so different. I, and I think maybe, maybe subconsciously, I'm, I'm scared that if I email him, I, I become connected. Like, you know, you know, if he, right, if he replies, I, I'm directly involved, but and if he doesn't, then I'm emailing the dead. So, so when I think of that conflict, I think of him, Mahmoud, not, not the rolling news, you know, that you see all the time, but, but him, you know, wherever he is or, or his body. I haven't told Lucy. You know, I never would. You know, it's not. It's not her world. She's a. She's a safe place where none of that exists. Um, and you know, and it might be terrible, but, but but I like the place that Lucy provides. You know, so so if it's gotten to the point where I have to choose, okay, between my best friend, my dead pen pal, and the truth, or Lucy, okay, and and security and and just the simplicity that she offers. I'm sorry if I disappoint.
Hi. It's you. Yeah. <laughs> and it's me. You're here. That's right. And uh, well, what's up? You... Fine. Yeah. It's it's you and me. Okay, can we can we stop this time? Well, you're looking well. Well, thinner. I'm working out. Yeah, or <laughs> we're not eating at least and these clothes like not only do they look shit hot they also look comfortable and that's the thing I can never do you know I can never get my clothes looking as comfortable as other people's I don't know what I'm doing wrong in that like sweater thing I love it thanks oh I, <laughs> I mean you as well are looking fabulous yeah. Too late. So, what's going to be then? You have to see. You haven't checked? Okay. Don't, don't they tell you now? Or? You mean yeah, like boy or girl? <laughs> but you meant like what she was gonna be when she grew up? No. No. No, I, I, I realize now. So it's a girl. Hmm. Yeah. Amazing. You know, I don't mind at all what she wants. Oh, yeah. She, oh, that's the, the, I, I wasn't asking that. And uh, everything went all right with the... What? A procedure just making it all and yeah 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 um yeah yeah Lucy's doing well that's great Lucy fuck I I haven't seen you since that night I know when we went in you know the night it started you remember <laughs> of course I remember it was awesome the night you told me to split up with her. <sighs> Fucking mess, huh? I assume you mean the war? Well, it, if they thought it was going to be over quickly. I think the assumption was that this was going to go on for quite a long time. I don't know how, how they'll ever get out of it. Yeah, this is fun. Yeah, this is conversation, isn't it? Because, I mean... We could be talking about a war in another country where people are dying, or about my relationship and the mother of my child. You think it'll go on for a long time then? The war. Yes, the war. I was always talking about the war. I mean, we did the bit about your baby and now we're talking about something important. really know much about it. The, the war. No, come on, you you do. Mm. Well your subject? Not so much. Not now. Well you must have an opinion unless you're a vegetable. I think it's just we're doing our best. Okay, so Doing our best. <laughs> I don't want to get into it. 
you know, I've been waiting a while, right? Sorry, I was late. No problem, but you should also know that I have had a head start. So if I seem a bit woo, it's because I met a friend, like I'm another friend, I have another friend and uh, we, for lunch. So we did, had a good time and we played on the quiz machine. We actually won 20 quid from it. Um, so I spent it after that on the boost. And yeah, since it's now what, four, nice. five o'clock is it? Well, I'm a few on you, I expect. I expect so. Probably seven. You remember the, yeah. the system we had. Okay. How are you generally? Generally? <laughs> well, I'm generally good. Love it. You've come so proper. Well, okay. Uh, well, honest answer to your small talk, you will. Generally, no, not, not so great. I left my job. Why? Well, it, there was so much paperwork, you know? It's not why I signed up to be a teacher. I, there was this day and I was just hauling another load of marking through the door and I thought, fuck it, you know, I, I didn't even get an evening, so. Yeah. Holidays, yeah, but in term time, I can never have an evening off until Friday and not even just to sit with a beer up all night. And anyway, so the next day I took my letter of resignation in and by the end of the month, I was out of there, so. Right. So we'll see what's next, but for now I'm happy. You said you were doing great. Well, it's a big change, so I don't know, I'm okay, so. How are, how are you doing for money? Oh, oh. It'll be okay, Jesus. Did you talk to anyone about it? Talk it over, you mean? Yeah, whether it was a good idea. I knew what I wanted to do, so it was fine. I didn't need to do that. Okay. Not really anybody else's business. You've become a bit of a prick, haven't you? Um, why haven't we met up? Because <laughs> you call me a prick and that's not my idea of fun. I called and texted. Oh. And in both messages, you called me a twat. Well, yeah, but that's, you know, that's, I've always called you a twat. That's what you're called. We used to meet all the time. Things change. Fuck off, things do not. She got her way. This is my choice. Okay, all of this. I well, don't be pathetic, your choice. I, I can see you in there. I mean, I can see the person I know locked away pretending to be this well-dressed Miss fucking conventional. And I want you to know that I will be there for you when you want. I am waiting for you to come back. And I realize that this is just the state you're going through but I will be waiting for you, the real you, when you come back. When the chips are down, I'll be there. For you, I will. You're not all right. What? You're drinking too much, more than ever. Is that a message from your wife? No, we're not married. Well, I thought I might have missed the wedding. I don't know if I'd even get an invite. How much have you drunk today? It's Sunday, I'm allowed. <laughs> it's God's day. If God hadn't wanted us to drink, he wouldn't have given us mouth. You know, so I, I like booze. It's a, it's a wonderful car, it takes me on adventures. It genuinely does. I, I do things I never would imagine. I'm functioning extremely well. Left your job. Well, it, it's you that got the problem. It, that woman, Lucy, wife, is she your wife? 
just told you a minute ago. Well, did you? I forgot. No, she isn't. Why, why is she not your wife? We don't believe in marriage. <sighs> For fuck's sake. Okay, well, Jesus, whatever she is, she's much more of a destructive force in your life than Mr. Booze is for me. Me and Mr. Booze, we, we have a lovely time and mostly we do... <laughs> I, I hit myself in the face. Like, did you see that? I actually, I actually just hit myself in the face with my own hand. Oh my dick. I'm like halfway through telling you I'm fine. And then I hit myself like in the cheek with my fist. <laughs> what a penis. Would you like to see someone? Who? I'll, I'll pay for you to get some help. Someone who will help me not to hit myself in the face with my own hand. And then... Someone to help you with the body. <laughs> you used to laugh. You know, if I, if I hit myself in the face before, you would have pissed your fucking pants laughing at me. And now it's all, oh, get some help. Not funny. Yeah, but it is though. Like I just hit myself in the face with like this. It's it, it's funny. No. You fuck your life up. I have. You were better before. <laughs> your lungs are your face, and I'm the one. <laughs> you were much nicer. You were more fun, you know, even a bit fatter, which was actually better. <laughs> but but now with her and this baby, you've taken the wrong path and it's too late to go back. So thanks, but I'm fine for help. You, you just worry about what the fuck you're gonna do. Well, this is what I wanted to say, actually. Right, then say it then. When I have a kid, and you, and you know we might have more than one. Oh. Even if it's just my daughter, when she's born, I I can't be there for her and Wussy, okay? I, I can't be there for my family and for you. You're not there for me. And I, can't, I can't emotionally support you like I used to, okay? I, I, I don't have the bandwidth. And with, well, anyway, you don't anymore. We never see each other. And I tried calling you. When? The night before I quit my job, I tried calling like three times. I wanted to talk to you and you didn't pick up. And all I got late in the evening was like, at like half 11, was a polite little fucking text saying, hi, sorry, hope all is good. Sorry, I missed you, we'll call soon. And that was it. And you didn't call soon or otherwise, but I needed to talk. You could see it was me on the phone and you left it ringing. I don't fit in your world. Is that why you agree to me? Tell me that you won't be there for me in the future. No. No, I just, I just thought I should let you know. Well, you have. And I will no longer lean on you. When the chips are down for me, don't worry, I will, I will fuck up somewhere else. I'm sorry, but 